What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. This afternoon, me and Dustin just arrived out to a little slough here and we're gonna try to catch some perch. So the plan was we were gonna go out early this morning and then the old Escalade was having some car troubles and we got that figured out mid morning here and we finally made it out to this slough that we're going to be fishing. Dustin and John fished this slough about a week ago something like that and they did very good on perch very good size perch and very good numbers so i'm excited to get out here and do a little bit of perch fishing but we're gonna get out and pop some holes throw some tip ups out i think and do a little bit of jigging and see how today goes we're only gonna be out here for probably a couple hours we don't have a ton of time but we're gonna see what we can get done with the time that we have and hopefully we can catch some fish you think we're gonna catch something bucko i think we should i was Already marking one on that tip up I just set over there, but it looked like a small mark. When I was here last time, we did catch a couple smaller ones, but most of them were in the 10 to 12 inch range, which is a really good size perch. So we're gonna set some uh, some set lines. I think we got four tip ups, right? Four. Yep. And we're gonna do some jigging. They were pretty. They were pretty aggressive last time, and we got a warm front today. It's actually like really nice out. So hopefully the perch are nice and active. Oh, they shall be, brother. They shall be. Oh, there we go. First fish. Nice perch. Not too bad. That took a literally about two seconds. All right, first fish for me. We got a nice perch here. I'm rocking one of the Lake Effects tungstens with a Lake Effects plastic on it. And that was fast, that was fast. But we're gonna get that guy back in the water, see if we can't get another one. All right, well, I just dropped back down and unfortunately that little school I dropped on is gone now, but that fish just came up on the RBM floppy bodies. If you guys would like to check out the tungstens, plastics, or the rod that I am running today, all by Lake Effects, that will all be linked below. All right, second flag of the day. First one was a false alarm. This one was spinning. Something on there. Oh yeah. Second perch of the day. These aren't bad fish. The one I caught on the tungsten was a little bit bigger, but not too bad. But we're going to let this guy go. We're not harvesting today. First flag for Dustin. Oh, rip. Just a minute. You want to move? Well, me and Dustin have given this spot, I would say, probably about an hour or so. And the fish are here. There are some fish. A lot of the marks are smaller, which obviously is not really what we're looking for. And these fish are being super finicky and they don't want to bite. Some will chase you up to two feet under the ice and then just go back down. Some will just dart off and they're just kind of being weird. So me and Dustin are going to decide to switch spots. So with that said, we're going to get everything packed up, go to the next spot, and we will see you there. All right. Line alarm once again. That, it's a little nicer if it's a perch. Oh yeah. Definitely not a bad one. They're liking the live minnows at this spot for sure. But another nice perch for me. And things are going pretty good at this spot. There you go. Dustin's hooked up. That could be a true North Dakota giant right there. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh -uh. Should we start harvesting? Yeah. This one looks really tasty. We can harvest that one. Right on. Ooh, almost had him. Oh, like that? Is you talking about? Oh, this is a fighter. A real animal. I'm gonna lose him in this Vexilar booster quick. Oh, that is a big one. What in the heck? Oh. Ooh, not bad. 
Not bad at all. A real good perch. That Let's one's a little one. better. For sure. For sure a little bigger. A little? Oh yeah. Well, I was just trying to reset this thing, but... That didn't happen. Ooh. That's a big one. <laughs> Smallest fish of the day. Goes to old Dusty. I don't think we're gonna be harvesting that one. No. I just seen that tungsten bobbin. Hey. a good perch. We'll put him in the bucket. Now they're coming out to play. Well, another one for Dustin. Another one. Small guy. Let him go. There you go. Nope, I lost him. Bet he comes back really mad now. Oh, you little. You little. I was gonna come back thrice as mad. See? Told ya. Now it goes off. A little late, bud. <laughs> Another one on the line alarm. They're starting to bite. Me and Dustin have caught double the fish we caught like the first two hours, just in the last probably 20 minutes. Oh yeah. That's what we like to see. He's headed for the deucer, boys. This uh -huh. ain't good. <laughs> That'll happen. Nice. He shoots, he scores! That one don't feel too big. Huh. He's not too big. Oh yeah, hooked up on the icicle, baby. He don't feel too big. Huh. Well, sorry for hyping that up. Oh. Did you see that? I saw that. Oh, that's, that's a eater. big one. That's an eater. All right. Another nice eater for me. I just fired the truck up because me and Dustin are getting a little chilly, so we're going to crank the heat in the truck oh, nice. and uh, see if we can't warm up a little bit. But another nice fish. And it is that time for me and Dustin to keep a few to eat. So things Ooh. are going good. Ooh. The audio is just going to be the 6-0 barking. <laughs> row, 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 row. There we got it. Oh, oh. there got we go. That was a good one, too. I could tell by the way it was. That one definitely would have went to the grease. He's a lucky guy. I don't think he knows how lucky. There we go. Oh, another nice one. Oh, right in the right bucket. Right in the pail. Nice. Yeah, there's a school of good ones down there right yeah. now. Yeah. Another good one. Same here. We're gonna try to drop back down. There is a school. Oh, he's already there. Yep. There's another one down there still.
Oh. Dude, that was on the drop. Oh, there's more down there still. Another eater on the drop down. Oh, I got one by me. Here we go. There we go. Doubled up. Mine's smaller. Mine's not. Ha <laughs> ha. No way. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, don't worry. Ooh. Okay, what is this? What is this, dude? That was just me. Is my it your line? line? Yeah. That's a good one. That thing's huge. <laughs> Let me just drop him in there. All right, Dustin just caught a fatty. 13. 13 incher for Dustin. Another good one. Oh yeah. Real good one. I can't even get my glove on, dude. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh my God, yeah. All right, another nice one for me. That's probably at 11 and a half, 12. Yeah. That's been the average out of this school that we're pulling Yeah, right they've been big. Oh, I finally lost that minnow head. There is a little school. I don't think it's them big ones though. No. But that one was aggressive. <laughs> and big. <laughs> Not quite. Right on. Oh yeah. Holy. Buddy, you got enough deucer line out? Yeah, that was an accident. Look at this. I ended up switching to an eighth ounce eyeball jig here and a minnow head. They were hitting the tungstens earlier, but they're being a little more aggressive now. And now that I'm fishing so close to Dustin, who's using a minnow, uh, they're kind of going over to his bigger bait and seeing him first. So I decided to step my game up and run a little bit bigger bait as well for this. And then I'm just running that on the Lake Effects Elite Rod, which is just a 28 inch super ultralight. This is the rod I had that tungsten on and I just switched it out quick, but I'm surprised how well it's actually handling on these big perch with this heavier bait, but this thing's working out pretty good. Couldn't tell you, but check this out. This something special here. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Tombow, huh? Heavy hitter. This ain't the same school as that other one. No. Nope. There he is. It's weird how some of these fish are super aggressive and they like love the jigging. And then the, there's other ones that like come up and you touch your rod and they're gone. Yeah. Like they just want a dead stick. Oh. Oh, don't worry. I just missed him again at all. That's all. Now he's back at you. Ooh. I like the sound of that drag. It means it might be an eater. Yep, it is. Oh, what about this one? You think this one is? I don't know what this one is for sure. Oh, did you hear that sound? Yep. That's the sound of a deucer losing a fish. There's some, there's some nice perch out here. Watch this. Bebop. Texas Cowboy Bebop. Ooh. Ooh, the frostbite don't hurt too bad when you're catching 75 hey, inches. Hey! 
Dustin's just catching my fish now, I guess. Hey, frostbite don't hurt when you're winning. Especially sauce wood. Good. Oh, hey, look at that thing. He'll eat. All right, well, me and Dustin, we're a little bit chilly and the fish are still here. They are biting pretty good right now, but as you can see, we have about a half a five gallon pail full of super nice eater perch and me and Dustin got some stuff to do tonight. So we're deciding that we're gonna uh, pack stuff up here before it gets too dark and we're gonna head home and clean all these fish we got, but definitely an awesome afternoon here on the ice and I'd say that was pretty good. That was a lot of fun catching these perch. A lot of nice perch. We really didn't catch too many small ones. They were, for the most part, all eaters. Like, that was pretty good, don't you yeah, think? Yeah. We were, we were selective with what we kept, too. I mean, yeah. you saw us throw some of the, the smaller to mid-sized ones back, and we just kept, like, the good the good ones that you want to fillet. I mean, yeah. There's some big fish in there. Any perch you grab out of there is about that size. Like, 11, 10 and a half to 11. So there's a couple 12 and 113 in there, but... Yeah. Not bad. Really really good average size, and uh, those will eat up good. Oh yeah, good fishing, brother. Absolutely. So, with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Like I said, if you guys want to check out any of the rods or tackle that I was using in today's video, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and click on that Lake Effects link. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video, and we will see you all on the next one. See ya! Shoo! Oh, <laughs>